So I found out about these things. Have a heart traps. Do you know about these? Have a heart traps. The idea is you catch them, right? You drive them a couple towns over, you let them go. I brought them to Stratum. That's a nice town. That's having a heart, am I right? Stratum's a nice town. I could have picked worse towns to leave the little guy. So that was my plan, okay? I set the trap up. This is my backyard. I put the little bait in there. Within 20 minutes, I check it. A squirrel! 20 minutes! I just set it up. I turn it. I go, what the hell? I go, there was already a squirrel in there. Okay? So sure enough, I drive it over to Stratum 108. I go right over the line in Stratum. I let him out. On the way home, I ran over a squirrel. Like, I could have just killed that one and saved the gas money. Ugh. Talk about a waste of trip. Now look, I know some of you, if you're from Stratum, you probably think, well, why did you have to take it over to Stratum? Why didn't you make a left on 108 and bring it to Durham? Why? Because anyone who's tried to go from Newmarket to Durham on 108 in the last five years knows that it's been under construction. It's been the worst stretch of road in America for the last five years. It's been under construction so long that the bulbs on the sign have blown out. You gotta sit there like a Wheel of Fortune game from hell and figure out what it said. Uh, expect delays? Yeah, no shit. And one day I'm driving, right? One day I'm driving, right? I'm like, what? I'm in traffic, right? I'm like, what? Last week of work? Last week of work, we're high-fiving. Last week of work, they're done. They're done. I go by a week later, I go, what the hell is this? See you in the spring? What the hell does that mean? You're not done yet. You're not done yet. I know some of you are from out of town, you don't even know, the, might not even know Newmarket and Durham, and you're probably thinking, well, if they were working for five years, I bet they, they transformed the whole area, probably built it up nice, probably looks amazing. No. They didn't build anything. You know what they put in? A pipe. They paved a road. That's what we got. It looks like a road. In five years, it's a pipe and a road. That's it. Portsmouth, in the last five years, has built this bridge, this bridge, this five-story parking garage, this five-story hotel, this thing. The average person in Portsmouth is thinking, we can't handle this. How about building something for us, you know? And luckily this year, your prayers are answered. Finally, the 22,000 square foot, because the other one was so tiny. Let me ask you this, you imagine. You've never, your first time ever in Portsmouth, right? You check into your hotel at the traffic circle. Call your wife. She's like, oh, how's, how's Portsmouth? How's the, how's the view from your hotel room? I'm looking at the biggest liquor store I've ever seen in my life. Oh, why don't you go over and get yourself a bottle or something? Because I'm looking at the most dangerous traffic circle I've ever seen in my life. You gotta be some kind of American alcoholic ninja warrior to make it across this thing. Looks like a few squirrels tried. <laughs>